Welcome to the Easy Teach 3.5 Science Toolbar. Within the Science Toolbar, you'll find multiple science applications such as magnetic lines, graphic organizers, working within your document camera, calipers, rulers, timers, stopwatches, and then common science symbols. We're first going to take a look at the magnetic lines. So I'm going to choose a magnetic line that has an arrow on it as I'm going to be showing a type of cycle. I'm doing a food chain, so I'm going to first look and see that the plant is going to eat the food from the sun, or it's going to go through photosynthesis because of the sun. The bunny will then eat the plant, and the wolf will be, unfortunately, having lunch on the bunny. Now when I take any one of these items and move them around the screen, they will stay tied together. So my students can add in multiple things along our chain. So if I wanted another food source for my wolf who will also munch on the tree here, I can grab out another animal from my multimedia bank. Find something small that would possibly eat a plant. And let's say it's going to be a small deer. Oh, that's a big deer. Let's use our tool down here and grab small and grab a small deer out. And again, I can use my magnetic line to show that this deer will eat that plant and again that the wolf is going to be eating the deer. And the students can keep pulling out these objects as needed and then move them around the page keeping them linked. Another way to use them, um, things such as chains, chains like that, is to use the graphic organizers that are within here. And graphic organizers are not only good for science, but they're also wonderful for language arts, of course, and mapping stories. And I can also be able to use it for even math, having the students show you the vocabulary of math and writing them in the boxes. Now the boxes themselves, you can either write in them by using your T for your text and typing right within the box, or if I did want to pull out a picture, I can actually use my pictures within the boxes instead of words. So if I have younger students who need more visual like that, more visual um, stimuli, then I can use those instead. But within my boxes, I am now able to type. So if I were doing the water cycle, I can have condensation and give my text a color. So I will type in my condensation. Evaporation. Transpiration and so on. Now if I did have too many boxes as I do here for the water cycle, I do have the option within here to customize and choose not only the shape and the number of cells, but also what type of line do I want to have between those cells? Is it a, a cycle that can go back and forth and use a plain line, or am I going to need an arrowhead to follow a certain direction? That can be chosen from within here as well. Twain drivers you can find on things such as TI calculators, document cameras, um, even scanners or webcams that are built into computers. Using this button on the science toolbar, which will actually first search for an image source, I can then choose from my computer what Twain drivers I have hooked up to it. And then I will choose the camera to actually receive that image into my computer. So I click on play and I am able to see what is underneath my document camera at this moment. So my textbook is under there. I can zoom in on my textbook. Now I could also do this from the camera itself or I can actually use the zoom in feature right here. And then if I need to focus it, I'm going to use my focus right on my document camera to give it a little bit better focus there. And I'm going to stop ga gathering my image so that it's not live, it's just an image, and transfer it onto my paper. 
So now I've brought my image into my Easy Teach. I'm going to stretch it out, of course, so that all my students can see it. And even though this tool is on my science toolbar, notice that I have math content. So any subject area can be using the science toolbar in this respect, whether you're looking at this um, document camera feature or even those graphic organizers again. Now I can grab my pen and I can take a look at my chart, pass a tablet around the classroom, or even have the students come up to the board and have them click off and check off in the boxes as needed or where appropriate. The caliper is a measurement tool. So let's say I know that this one story house from the top of the roof down to its ground floor is 20 feet. I can calibrate my measurement tool from the top to the bottom and I'm going to choose to calibrate it that it's in feet and we are going to make that that it is 20 feet high. So now that we're all set there, if I grab my caliper tool and measure this house over here, we're going to be able to see that this house and roof are 32.15, uh, so 15 hundredths. And once I close out of that tool, it does automatically bring in the measurement for me there. A couple other things that are available on the science toolbar are that we do have a timer and a stopwatch as well as popular symbols that you will find for science use, signs and symbols. So the stopwatch and the timer can be used with and without sound. I'll take this right down to zero minutes, add on just a few seconds so that you can have an idea of what it sounds like. It makes a nice visual for testing time or even if I'm just putting my children off on a you know, 20 minute worksheet so they can see when it's time for me to stop. For information on the rest of our subject area toolbars, please go back to our website.